forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Ryan Tate. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Ryan, you're probably going to want to leave early. You know it's about a 12-hour drive here, and who the hell knows about that traffic when you're coming through Memphis? come with you? I mean, your grandmother died, Jessica. It's kind of something I should be there for. I don't know why she doesn't just go on and leave his ass. She's not happy and she knows it. Did you mean what you said last night? About how you feel our marriage is falling apart? Maybe that's what you two can talk about on your way here. See if you can't talk some in your sister. He's here. I'll get your bags. And Ryan, thank you so much for bringing your Uncle John. I know the last thing you wanted to do is go on a road trip with your crazy uncle who has dementia, but thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Hey, we've uh, been waiting on you for forever now. I was watching the early show. Well, are you ready? Yep, let's get going. Are you kidding me? Um. Hi. Yeah, hi. Were you planning on packing anything? I did that. Yeah, yeah, I did that two days ago when your mama called. Well, where is your bag? It's in my room. Oh. We would have brought him down here last week with us, but, but we just didn't think we were gonna lose mama. Him calm and get him what he wants. Y'all should make it just fine. Right, right, Brian. I can sure get used to traveling with you guys. This is good. All right, baby. I love you. Drive safe and call me if you need anything. And tell Kelly hi for me. You know we're still waiting to meet her. Really wish you would have brought her down here with you. Had the whole family meet her. <laughs> I'm sure this is the one for you. Anyway, I'll see you when you get here today. Bye.
What's the matter? What do you mean? I don't know. Seems like something's bothering you. Just got a lot going. A lot on my mind. Stressed? Kelly? It's probably got a lot to do with it. Okay, well, this is good. What? This. This conversation. <laughs> I mean, we haven't talked in like 50 years, so this is good. <laughs> okay. So how are things going with you guys? Things are good. Things are really good, actually. Yeah? Getting serious? We've been pretty serious. Oh my god, I had no idea. Little brother gonna get married. Maybe not. Why? I think we should probably change the subject. Oh, come on. You know that's all Mom's gonna ask you about when we're around her family today. I know. I'm dreading this. Well, if you truly love her and you can see yourself spending the rest of your life with her, then just do it. I promise there's no greater happiness than spending your life with the person you love. Is that what you did? Mom likes to make my problems bigger than they really are. And besides, all married couples run into problems somewhere down the road. Things can't always be smooth. How are things between you guys? Horrible. It's bad. Things are bad. Why you say that? Oh, come on. Don't play dumb. I know Mom tells you everything that's going on. Yeah, but you just said that she makes things bigger than they actually are. Okay, I think we can change subjects now. I need to pee. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. You want anything to eat or drink? Uncle Cola? <laughs> Does he live in the 50s inside his head? I mean, seriously. It's called Coke, Uncle John. Hey, Jody, we got a runner on two. You better get the tag. Oh, shit. Stop! John, stop! No, no, that... We're not running. That's us. We're, uh... No, it's, uh... He's crazy. Uh, uh, it's our uncle. Hey, John! John! What the hell are you doing? Well, hell, there you are. I thought you'd done left me here. Get out and get in the back now. <laughs> what? He thought we had left him here. Did we take off on foot and leave in the car? How much farther is it? Too damn far, that's for sure. I love Coca-Cola. There ain't nothing better than an ice-cold Coca-Cola on a hot summer day to quench your thirst. Yeah, we got plenty of them, too, Uncle John. John Pemberton's the man we have to thank for this great beverage. It was originally called Coca Wine, called Pemberton's French Wine Coca. But then Prohibition came. So John Pemberton responded to that by developing Coca-Cola. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as his French Wine Coca. But it has no alcohol. Not a lot of people know that. Nor do they care. Yeah, that's a pretty interesting fact there, Uncle John. Coca-Cola's cost five cents, five cents a glass at the soda fountains back in my day. You know what people do with nickels? People don't do anything with nickels these days. They give them to their kids or their, or their grandchildren and to put in some jar, giant jug, and they just sit there for years and years and do nothing. I'd say if we'd give every jar or giant jug of pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters to our U.S. government, we'd probably get our asses out of this debt we're in. You're going to be 
on that thing this whole trip? I'm trying to take care of some things, like my marriage. I tell you what, Arkansas is just beautiful. Look around. Are you seeing this? Huh? Are you seeing this? Uncle John, I'm driving. I'm seeing everything that you're seeing. Jessica, are you seeing this? Jessica. Yeah, hold on, OK? Uncle John, stop it. I've got some serious shit going on right now, OK? You never got the time to appreciate anything. You all new kids, future generation. You all take the small things for granted. And what's worse, you'll never look back to appreciate them either. I think if people would take the time to slow down and observe and appreciate and take everything in, I think the world would be a better place for us all. Do you have any idea what you're talking about right now? OK, there. I'm done. When I was you all's age, we didn't have them backberries. <laughs> we had a piece of paper, an envelope, and a stamp. Uncle John, they're called blackberries, not backberries. And the damn patience to wait. Who are you calling? Mama. Why? to see if he's supposed to be on some kind of medication or if there's something we can give him to knock his ass out. Need gas. It's time for a bathroom break. And that's in case he finds his way behind the wheel again. It's probably smart. Hey. No, we're not there yet. We're still in Arkansas, filling up. I miss you, too. No, I told you not to worry about it. It's not a big deal. So you getting ready? Don't be nervous. You know you'll get it. <laughs> now that's a load of shit. <laughs> Your body's fine. Trust me. I'm serious. No, I'm sure I'll talk to you again before we get there. Good luck, babe. All right, love you too. Bye. I don't believe I know where I You know, I'm almost sure I was six. But now, don't quote me on that, because I might have been five. But I'm pretty sure I was six, though. But now, I sure could have been five. I think I was six the first time I had my first drink of Coca-Cola. Something like that that sticks in your head forever. I'll never forget it. There were some older boys in the neighborhood. They were going to play football, so they were all lining up out in the front yard. I decided I was going to go out there and get in line and get picked to play. Turned out they had an odd number of players, so I didn't get picked. I had to do the walk of shame all the way back home with all of them watching me. I went in the house, went straight to the back porch. My mama saw the tears in my eyes. She knew I was upset. She knew what had happened. 
Next thing I know, my mama placed an ice-cold Coca-Cola in my hand. I looked up just in time to see her give me a big smile before she turned and walked away. She didn't give me no advice, no life lesson. Her actions said it all. Sometimes you gotta go through the bad to get to the good. And I knew at that moment, when I took that sip of Coca-Cola, everything was good. You got a story, Jessica? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to sleep. How about you, Ryan? Hey, how about you sit back and stop talking? Can you do that? Maybe play the quiet game? Stop the car. Stop. Stop. Stop the car. What? I said stop the car. Stop it. Stop the car now. Stop it. Stop the car. I'm not stopping stop the it. car. Stop, 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 stop. Stop the car, Jesus Christ. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop the car now. John. Stop the car. Stop it now. Stop. Stop. Let me out. Let me out. Stop. Stop it. Stop. Let me out. Walking down the road. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Jessica, this shit ends up funny. I know, but I can't help but laugh. I mean, come on, Ryan. This just doesn't happen to anyone. <laughs> okay, he's still going. What? I... Hold on. Uncle John! Uncle John, come back here! Damn. <laughs> That's pointless. wrong with you? Well, yeah, actually I do. But I know you're not completely stupid in there. So how about you not act like it? Can you not fit in with everyone else? Can you be normal and chill? Just chill. That's all you have to do. And when we get to Mississippi, you can act as crazy as you want because you're not my problem. But until then, sit down and shut the fuck up. Sorry, I'm such an inconvenience. Just go. Well, we're not gonna make it there tonight. That's just great. and I was seeing if you guys had any hotel rooms available for the night. All right, so how many rooms are we gonna be needing tonight? One room, two beds, please. Okay. See if they got a water bed. Ask them if they got a water bed, Ryan. Uh, Uncle John. Do you guys have a water bed? <laughs> Jessica. I'm in here. What are you doing? Taking a nice hot bath. What? You can't leave him in here alone. It's fine. I can hear him laughing at the TV the whole time. All right. Well, the food's here. OK, I'll eat when I get out. I'm watching the TV. 
That TV right there. Hey, you want me to bring your food over there? Yeah, you better bring it over here so I can watch that TV over right over there. Mind if I come and eat by you? I was so obsessed with Batman. Every time you'd come over, I'd make you play Batman and Robin. You'd be the Batmobile, and I'd make you carry me around everywhere on your back. And that one time, it made you take me all the way up the stairs, and we just barely got to the top. And you lost your balance, and we fell down every single stair. <laughs> Look. I said some stupid shit to you today, and I didn't mean it. It was rude. I just have a lot of things going on right now that... I'm just... I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said those things to you. You forgive me? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. We'll be there by lunch, probably around one or after. That is, if Uncle John decides to stay in the car the whole time. Hey, Uncle John, you getting a Coke? Getting a lot. They're free. Free? See, I just take a dollar, and I stick it in here, and I punch the button, and out comes a Coca-Cola. <laughs> Uncle John, they're not free. You're paying for them. No, free Coca-Cola. Free Coca-Cola. Why do you have so many dollar bills? Tips. Who do you get tips from? <laughs> I don't get tips. I give tips. To? Stripper money. <laughs> I think three Cokes is enough. We need to go. I got to get the rest of them. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We got to get out of here. Yeah, we got to get to Mississippi today. You know that's where I'm from, don't you? Yes, John, I know. How are those pancakes? I don't think they're homemade. <laughs> you might be right. I think I'm gonna be sick. Relax, I'm sure they're still okay to eat. No, seriously, get up. I think I'm gonna be sick. For real? Yes, would you move? I don't think they're that bad.
You feeling any better? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. What's wrong? I don't know. I guess I'm just not used to eating all this junk food. Your body's going into shock from not sticking to your healthy diet. I guess. I just feel really thirsty. You want me to stop? Thanks. Thanks, Uncle John. Man, I tell you what. How are you, Aunt Fran? I'm good. You doing all right? Yeah. I bet you're glad to be down here, get away from all that stress you've been living in. Why do you say that? Is my mom not here? Yeah, she's in the house. Yeah, definitely not getting away from any stress then. So I guess they expect us to get the bags? I reckon. Here's Uncle John. Damn. <laughs> What the hell he got in here? About 30 cans of Coke. Yeah? Oh, excuse me, Coca-Cola. Yeah, he all about that Coke, ain't he? Yeah, he's made me all about the alcohol. <laughs> well, you come on to the house, I get you something mixed up. You know, I just think it's ridiculous you let it go on for so long. Will needs to grow himself a pair and learn to deal with his mother. I swear my blood pressure rises just thinking about this. As a matter of fact, I think my heart's palpitating right now. Mm. <laughs> hey, baby. Glad you made it here, okay? <laughs> How you doing, son? I'm good. Haven't seen you in a while. Work keeping you busy, huh? Yeah, it is, actually. Why, well, I'm sure Kelly's keeping him more busy than work. Every time I call, she's over there or they're going out somewhere. I think he's taking her shopping, spending all that big money. That's what he's doing. Now, we haven't met this one, right? Oh, he's too shy to bring her around us still. Or he's embarrassed of us. I don't know why you don't just introduce her to us and get the wedding over with. You two live together already. And you know how I feel about that. It's not part of my beliefs. Yeah, I know. Never seem to live up to half your beliefs. Oh, to Donna's house, your mother's damn friend. She wants to serve dinner to the whole family tonight. Well, then let's, uh, let's make it a good night. Well, hell, I've been doing this since about 11.15 this morning when I found out we were going over there. Here's mud in your eye. Well, I talked to Will right before we got here, mm -hmm. and they found her a place, and they're about to sign the papers. Hallelujah, prayer's working. I swear, I can't believe I haven't said anything to her up to this point. You know what? I should have just messaged her on Facebook and told her what I really thought. That's what I should have done. Why is everything at your firm? <laughs> it's not my firm, Fran. I'm still pretty low there, actually. Well, it will be one day. You probably have six or seven of them. Yeah, I, I hope to open my own so I can have enough money to take care of uh, Kelly and I. Got more money than I do now. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you had Wi-Fi here. I do. I got that chip, you know, that little MiFi box thing. What the hell is that? Oh, come on. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Just drop it. It's not your place to say anything. Not my place. Who do you think helps you and Susan, Will? stop it. There's other things to be worried about right now. For God's sake, your mother just died. Yeah? Well, what is there to be worried about? She's already dead. 
Um, I think I'm going to run into town and get a few things before dinner. Oh, what do you need? You know, toothbrush, toothpaste, just a few things. You want me to go with you? Um, no. I, I think I could use some time by myself, if you know what I mean. I called you and asked you if you packed everything. I know, I'm forgetful and I'm irresponsible. I'll try and do better. Well, how are you gonna get into town? Ryan, I'm gonna take your car. Okay. Back in a bit. I don't know what happened with her. She don't get it from me, that's for sure. She gets it from your whole damn family. What'd you say? I love you. Everything's good. I'm fine. Okay. Well, it just sounds like you've been crying. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Are you serious, sweetie? Well, I'm staring at, at two pregnancy tests. <laughs> Honey, this is great. This is really great. I really wish I was there with you right now. I wish you were here too. Oh my God. I love you. I love you too. And I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry about everything. I love you. Look, it don't make me no difference if we put him in one here or one back in Oklahoma. Well, I always thought of something would have happened to him. Say he dies. Sissy, don't think stuff like that. Well, I'm just saying, if and when it does, I always thought we'd bury him with Mama and Daddy. So I don't know why we wouldn't just put him in some place around here. Well, I already talked to my friend Becky, and her daughter, Jenny, works in the one over there in Columbus, and she says it's a real nice place there, and the people are excellent. So it may not hurt to go on over there while you all are here. Check it out. Yeah, I don't see why not. You getting more than Coca-Colas? Yeah, John, there's some over there in the fridge for you. Help yourself. Damn it! That's good. <laughs> John, <sighs> what do you think about staying here? Staying where? Here, in Mississippi. I live in Oklahoma. Yeah, we know that, but you're gonna come down here and live. Where? Here in Mississippi, you crazy nut. I live in Oklahoma. My house is in Oklahoma. I can't move my house, Mississippi County. <sighs> no, I don't think you can move it down here, John. There is a place over in Columbus that we're gonna go look at for you. Who, what, where? It's a place, you know, where people go live. Why? I got a place in Oklahoma. Yeah, I don't need no place. But there, this is a place where people live there and people to help you out, you know, take care of you, too. Why do I need somebody to take care of me? What's their job to? Yeah, yeah, they get paid to. 
And you don't know I ain't gonna pay nobody to take care of me. Oh, forget it. We'll just take you on over there later and maybe you'll like it. I'm not gonna go. I'm not going there. I'm going back to Oklahoma to live. That's where I'm going. Yeah, I am. I'm going back to Oklahoma to live. What did I do with my Coke? It's in your hand. Oh, yeah, it is. Let me tell you something. There's something going on between her and that preacher. I am not kidding. I saw them at a convenience store in his car. What do you think they were doing? <laughs> what do you think they were doing? I'm no telling you, way. she has found something more than Jesus. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I think they were drinking beer. Preachers can drink. She is crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, Dinner will be ready in about 15 minutes. Now, as some of you know, and some of you may not know, I found Jesus a few months ago. Is that one of our relatives? Yes, it is. Anyway, I thought while we were waiting for dinner that maybe I could do a little entertaining with some church hymns that I've been learning. Going down to the river, gonna wash my sins away. Gave my heart to Jesus, gonna see him in heaven one day. Going down to the river, gonna wash my sins away. Gonna see the light of heaven, all happy and bright and gay. Going down to the river, gonna wash my sins away. Gave my heart to Jesus, gonna see him in heaven one day. By the way, this will be a good time for a smoke break. Wash my sins away. Gave my heart to Jesus, gonna see him in heaven one day. If y'all know the words, feel free to sing along. Going down to the river, gonna wash my sins away. Gonna see the light. It's always the time to start. All happy and bright and gay. Going down to the river, gonna wash my sins away. Gave my heart to Jesus, gonna see him in heaven one day. Gonna see the light of heaven, all happy and bright and gay. All happy and bright and gay. That's a nice sunset. That's a nice sunset. What, you want one too? Jesus, that woman's so damn crazy. I can't stand to be around her. Why? Cause she's crazy. Nobody want to be around crazy people. <laughs> Cause when she get to talking, she don't shut up. And she always want to talk about the government and the Lord all the time. I don't even know if I'll be able to make it through the whole dinner. I might have to just smoke a joint just to last. <laughs> do you have one? Boy, you crazy. What, do you? What makes you think I'd have any pot? You lost your damn mind. Don't you stand there and lie to me. I know you. I used to smoke pot back in the day. It was back in the day yesterday? I ain't smoked no pot and hell, I can't remember when. Come on now, Fran. I haven't, Ryan. Don't you lie to me. I'll go get it out the car. <laughs> gonna get lit. <laughs> <laughs> so there, Uncle Jess sits at the table, thinking he's having a damn heart attack and telling Mama and Aunt Jackie he needs to go to the hospital. Oh, well. Mama's gonna have the owner of the place drive him to the hospital because her and Jackie already had their food. <laughs> they weren't gonna go nowhere and let that food go to waste. <laughs> so they didn't take Uncle Jess to the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> no, the man who owned the restaurant took him. Hell, Mama and Jackie sat there, ate their food, took a to-go box home to Daddy before they even went to the damn hospital. <laughs> I tell you what, women was as crazy as they come, and as stingy as anyone ever could be. I tell you what, though, after that service tomorrow, I'm gonna be the first one down at that house, and I am gonna tear that son of a bitch down and find every drop of money in it. You damn right. She was always hiding money in that house and was afraid somebody was gonna get it. Hell, I'm gonna get me a new horse trailer. Hell, it'll probably take us a month to find all of it in there. Have to rip down the walls and tear up the floor just to find it. Never seen anybody so stingy in all my life. She never would spend any money on nobody and hardly spend any on herself. 
Will's mama suits like her. Oh, she is not. <laughs> yes, she is too, Jessica. That's why she's been living with you for so long. A woman wouldn't spend a nickel if she could help it. Nickel? You know what nickels are worth these days? Nickels ain't worth nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, guess I'm gonna tell her grandfather. Yeah, you, you've told us that already. You know, if every giant jar and jug filled with pennies, dimes, nickels, and quarters was given to our government, we'd probably well, we get our ass, ass out of this debt right now. See, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's that noise? Jessica, she really as bad as your mama makes her out to be. No. Mama just hates Will and his entire family. They're not good enough for her class of people. That's not true. I just see Will for what he really is. I think he's lazy and likes to do just what it takes just to barely get by on. He should have a full-time job making more than $8 an hour to take care of his family. Y'all ain't gonna be able to live on that forever. And your solution is for me to just divorce him. She'd probably be happy. <laughs> Who says I'm not happy now? Oh, come on. How could you be? You're always calling me, complaining about this or that, about him and his family. Mama, I love him. I love him. Will is the man I want and will spend the rest of my life with. I'm perfectly happy. Well, I don't know how you could be. I know I wouldn't. I'm pregnant. What? I'm pregnant. Really? Yes. I took four pregnancy tests earlier today and they were all positive. Oh, are you sure? Because those things are, they, they make mistakes. I'm gonna have a baby and you're gonna be a grandma. Kind of just starting to dawn on me that we're actually gonna bury Mama today. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Who's sitting here? You are. Oh, Lord, they got a truck in at the cheapest dirt. What's the cheapest dirt? Oh, it's that junk store downtown that she shops at. That ain't a junk store, Sissy. They got lots of nice stuff there. I got them Ralph Lauren sheets on there in the bed from there. Well, no wonder I've been itching ever since I got here. Oh, you have not. I wash them before I put them on the bed. You know, I'm gonna start getting ready so I can leave early and Ryan, you and I will go down there and we'll take a look and see what they got. See if they got anything good. I'll go too.
he can stay here with you guys. No, he can go with y'all. No, we came here on what should have been a 12 hour trip that took two days. <sighs> he ain't that bad. Ain't that bad? You try staying with them more than an hour and see if you're not exhausted. Actually buy clothes from him? No, not all the time. But you might find something nice here. I'm telling you, they got all designer stuff here. <laughs> right. Well, come on, Mr. Uppity. Look around. You might find something you like. I'm telling you, when they get a new truck in here, they get nice stuff in here. You look pretty. Thanks. Um, does this look okay? Mm-hmm. What? How are you? Mom, what are you doing? What? Well, you're either wanting something or you're wanting to tell me something, so let's just cut to it. Keep your voice down, Jessica. I was just wondering how things stand with you and Will. Everyone knows you're not happy. We know how he is, Jessica. You don't have to hide anything from us, okay? No one in this family is going to think any different of you if you file for a divorce. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that's what we want. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want. You want me to divorce Will. I don't. You're the one that has a problem with him. You're the one that hates him, not me. I don't hate him, Jessica. I just know how he is, and I know you. You could have done better, and you can still do better. Will can barely take care of himself, much less you and a baby, my grandbaby. Think about that, Jessica. Think about this baby. I am not discussing this anymore with you. Jesus Christ, Mother, get over yourself. My life isn't about Susan Tate. Hint, it's my life. So you can either get happy about me being married to Will, or you can shut your damn mouth and start pretending. We're gonna have such a great time. There's gonna be tons of food. We're gonna have crawdads and corn and potatoes. And just you wait, there's a big surprise plan for the barn dance. Hope to see y'all there. Right, we'll be there. Hey, y'all, how's it going? John, John! Hey, it's me, Larry. I go by John. Your cousin Larry? You remember me, don't you? Oh, cousin Larry! You're the one that got arrested that summer on family vacation for trying to pick up prostitutes. John, this is my wife, Alicia, and my two boys, Daniel and Austin. It's nice to meet you, John. Well, it's nice to meet you guys, too, but I just wish it wasn't under these circumstances. Oh, I know. This must be hard for you. I know it's hard on Larry to even think about it being his birthday today. Is it? Yes. Man, that kind of sucks, having to go to a funeral on your birthday. That's one way to describe it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go get me a good seat. You have a good birthday today, Larry. OK, John. He's interesting. Interesting? Yeah, that's one way to put it. Come on. Yeah. Maybe one or two? Mm -hmm. Where are they? They should have been here by now. It's all right. They'll be here. Did you get a glance down there? She's not quite here. They were. It's all right. Is he gonna be mad? <laughs> it, it'll be okay. I'll just tell her I had to dig you out of his box at Chief is Dirt. Oh, hush. <laughs> Where have y'all been? Oh, see, I hurt my stomach real bad. You're not gonna believe what happened to me. I was. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I can't. I can't. <laughs> she, she 
She fell into a box and she was dirt. Oh, that sissy was so embarrassing. Oh, how did she fall into a box? I was trying to get a pillow out of the bottom. And her feet came straight off the ground. She went in head first to the bottom. I bruised a muscle in my stomach. Took him forever to pull me out, too. <laughs> no, and then the box literally ripped completely in half. We're still in it. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I got an announcement I need to make since we're all here. Come to my attention that we've got us a birthday boy in the house today. Cousin Larry, right over there. Now, I think it's only appropriate since we're all here today that we all ought to get together and sing Cousin Larry a birthday. Happy birthday, right? Okay, here we go. For he's a jolly good fellow. Happy birthday, Larry. For he's a jolly good fellow. Happy birthday to Cousin Larry. You can join in if you know it. Ha. Happy birthday, Larry. Happy birthday, Larry. You are a jolly good fellow, Larry. For it's your birthday today, Larry. Good job. It's all yours, preach. Not sure really where to go from here, actually. Joyce Robertson was someone everyone in this town knew. She's someone you could count on to make a difference. She had a quiet voice and a soft heart, but she would stand up and fight for her church and her town and her family. Joyce Robertson didn't just read the Bible, she lived it. It was a beautiful service. Thank you so much. It was my honor. Joyce was a good woman. Loved having her with us in church every Sunday. I come in and tell you guys that Albert and his boys are getting everything ready to go out to the burial site. Be about five more minutes probably. He'll come and get you when he's ready. Thank you. So sorry. I got here as soon as I could. You can't do that up in no church house. And you are? I'm Kelly. This is Kelly? Yes.
I had no idea. I thought... It's not you. Let's just go. I really wish I would have known you were coming. I'm sorry. I wasn't going to like I had told you. It's just, I just got to feeling bad that I wasn't there for you and your family. But now, I know I don't ever need to be there for your family. This is bad, huh? I'm actually surprised I didn't see my mom's head do a complete 360. I'm gonna leave. You're not leaving. You just got here. It'd be a waste of money. Well, I sure as hell am not staying with you guys. Susan, slow down. I am not overreacting. What? I, I didn't say anything. How can you just sit over there like that, huh? What the hell's the matter with you? Look, you need to calm down. I just need to calm down while you just sit over there all cool and calm just knowing that our son is some fag. I blame this on you. How is that, Susan? You never were much of a father. I always worried you weren't spending enough time with him man to man. Hell, I guess he's getting plenty of man to man time now, huh? Oh, God. He didn't come to his step because he knows it's wrong. How am I going to sit in Sunday school now and, and explain this one? Why do you think this is such a big deal? Why? My God, Jack! What do you mean? Do you want our son to be gay? Do you even care what I think? I think you might be handling this the wrong way. Ryan is Ryan. There's nothing going to change that. He's the same Ryan we knew five minutes ago when we thought Kelly was a woman. He's the same Ryan we've been raising for the past 20 odd years. That bullshit. I didn't raise him to be a fag. I'm against this in every possible way. I think Ryan needs you now more than ever has. No, what Ryan needs now more than ever is Jesus. I'm just gonna pray to God and hope that he's listening. Jesus Christ. Don't you Susan. Jesus Christ, Susan May? You're gonna push them away further than you already have. constantly on Jessica about Will. You have to be there every day to remind her that he's not good enough for her, that, that he's not good enough for this family. But who says that? Who says that to their own daughter who's happily married to someone they love? A Karen mom, that's who. She's not happy either, we both know that. The only thing you care about, Susan, is what people think about you what people say about you. How can Jessica be happy when she has you constantly reminding her every day that her whole life is just one big mistake? That boy's done nothing but bring her down since the day they said I do. I'm sorry I care so much about my kids that I go out of my way to make sure they're happy and taken care of. Next thing I know, you're gonna tell me that I'm the one who drove Ryan to be gay. No, you didn't drive Ryan to be gay. Sure as hell didn't make it easy for him to feel like he could tell us. What about you, Jack, huh? I suppose you think you should get the father of the year trophy because you were always there. I mean, how come you didn't tell me? Something you really should have told me, Ryan. Because of you. What? Because of you, you're, you're so comfortable and proud of who you are. Your family knows and accepts it. <laughs> Honestly, I just didn't want you to think I was ashamed of myself. Are you? Are you ashamed? No. No, I'm not. This is who I am. Ryan Tate.
And I'm completely fine with it. Just, I just know my family too, and I know they'll, they, this is a sin to them. I mean, we're going straight to hell, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. My mom's just so pissed right now because I'm not living this life she had planned out for me from the time I was born. No, she's worried about what everyone will say behind her back when they know her son's gay. And just see it. I don't give a shit anymore. I went through the first 20 years of my life hiding who I am, feeling ashamed. Not anymore. I need to be free. Hello? Where are you at? Kelly's hotel room. Your mama is pissed that you missed your mama's burial. Really? Is that why she's pissed? Or is it because she just found out her son's a fag? Right, that's it. Look, we having the whole family out for a cookout here tonight. Okay. So? You all better be here by seven. Six. Seven. Six. Be here at six. You be here. Think we're gonna pass. All I gotta say is that you and that boyfriend better be here. I am not playing with you, Ryan. Y'all be here. And just give your mama a little bit of time and talk with her later on tonight. It all gonna be okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'll see you tonight, Aunt Fran. Okay, love you. All right. Bye. Bye. Roll tight. Is that sissy? Yep. Look like it. Where the hell is she going? Probably gonna drive her car off that bridge down there at the end of the road. Ugh. Andrew, are you so crazy? Here she comes back. What the hell is she doing? Are you driving around drunk? Does it look like I'm driving? I'm not even in the damn car. Oh, shit. Lord Jesus, have some mercy Move, on Move, Donna. I'm going to go take care of my sissy. Sissy, did you drink that whole bottle? Damn. <laughs> Drinking the expensive <laughs> shit, ain't we? <laughs> mm. All right, sissy. I think that you have had enough. Screw you. Screw you. Screw all of you. <laughs> Damn, we're waiting for you so we can get everything ready and you gonna show up skunk drunk just cause you're mad cause Ryan's gay. That's fine, that's fine. If he wants to be gay, he can. But he's the one that's gonna have to answer to the Lord, not me. Oh, Jesus. Well, go ahead and drink all my damn tea, Donna. I didn't raise him this way. No, no, I didn't. Watching all that shit on TV and going to them clubs and this music, this music today has done led him down the wrong path. And he done made some bad choices. <coughs> Dark times are ahead of us, Fran. And it's only getting worse. Hey, Amen, hallelujah! Reverend Billy Graham, I believe you are cut off from the wine. You need to get your ass out there and get that crawfish a boiling over a donuts. Hmm, I'd best head back home and start preparing my famous potato salad. There ain't no need to do that. I already got some of my famous potato salad cooked up. Like I said, better go start on my potato salad. Baby, when I 
I met you there was peace unknown. I set out to get you with a fine tooth comb. I was soft inside. We got something going on. Lord have mercy. <laughs> you do something to me that I can't explain. Hold me closer and I feel no pain. I was beat of my heart. We got something going on. Tender love is blind. It requires a dedication. All this love, it needs no conversation. And we rely on each other. Uh -huh. Making love with each other. Uh -huh. <laughs> I live in this dream. That is what we are. Hell no, I ain't kissing Boudreaux. You must have lost your damn mind. Where's Sissy? Oh, she went inside. Might stay out here and do another song. Sissy! Sissy, where are you at? What? I went to the bathroom. What are you doing? You smell of nothing but alcohol. Oh, goodness, Fran. Look, you have got to quit drinking and sober up a little bit before Ryan gets here. Oh, God, is he coming? Yes, he's coming. I called him and told him they best be here. What are you looking for? Oh, look. You are going to make yourself sick just like you did that time when you had that hunch punch. Oh, okay. Is my son and his Liberace here yet? Daddy gonna say I'm the one with the drinking problem. <laughs> oh, here they are. Here we are. Here we all are. Attention, everyone, attention. Dinner is ready whenever y'all are, so if you follow me, we'll chop down. <laughs> Shall we on? Is she drunk? Mm-hmm. Very. Let's go. I must say, Kelly, I've heard nothing but great things about you. Ryan always talks so highly of you. I just didn't know you were going to have a penis. <laughs> Seriously? What? You never said anything to us. How was I supposed to know? You did a good job of hiding it. 
I think you're drunk. And if you want to talk later, we can talk later, when you're actually sober. No, I want to talk to Kelly now. I want to get to know him. After all, he's going to be my future son-in-law, right? Ooh, oh, that's right. You can't get married, because it's illegal. <laughs> Maybe that should have been your first sign. Mom, why don't you just stop? No, Ryan, you stop. Why are you doing this? What? Why am I doing what? Him! This whole gay thing! You know what I think? I think you're confused. That's exactly right. You've been running with the wrong crowd, and they've introduced you to this lifestyle, and they've made you believe that this is who you are. You're not gay. Uh, I really think he might be. No, no. When he was 15 years old, 15, I walked in on him having sex with his girlfriend in the garage. If you were really gay, you would not be having sex with a girl. So, Who's the catcher and who's the pitcher? <laughs> Hell, I hope you're not going down bareback on that boy. <laughs> and if you are, I hope you have some protection. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you're such a bitch. You really don't know the first thing about me. I should be the one mad here, Ryan, not you. Let's not forget that at the end of the day, we're a family. I think that's what's important here. What is that, Boudreaux? I reckon it's a band warming up. What the hell you mean a band? I, uh, I might have hired the Aranda Brothers for the night. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Fancy thing, we'll go down there we'll all day. That's right. Get the brick house queen back oh, out there God. on that floor, and I'll rip the place up. What is she talking about? She won a dance contest back in school doing a dance to the brick house. <laughs> Sissy, you ain't going to be able to do it like you used to. There ain't no way. I hope the hell you think that. Honey, I'll come alive out there on that dance floor when the brick house comes over them speakers. Woo hoo! Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got to see her do this before I die. That's a fact. Ain't holding all the back. Here we go. Check it down, check it down, check it down, down. Check it down, check it down. She's moving slow out there. I think age done caught up with her. Yes, you're upset, but look, let me tell you something. I don't give two shits about what your mama says. There ain't nothing wrong with you, and don't you think that. Never be ashamed of where you come from. Never be ashamed of who you are or give two shits about what people think of you. You live your life to be happy. And if you are, that's all that matters. Thanks. How come you didn't say anything? I mean, you could have told us, could have told me. You know how many times growing up I've heard this family speak down on gay people? Well, I know, but it's different. How is it different? I don't know, because it's you. Right. 
You're exactly right. You start to get a different view when it's one of your own. So, how did you know? I mean, what made you decide this? I, I didn't make this decision, trust me. It's not fun going through life knowing half the world hates you. you know, I tried pretending being straight, and as hard as it is lying to everyone else, it's even harder lying to yourself. Well, paint me crimson and call me the tide. I guess that Gaga lady was right. You were born this way. <laughs> God. Ryan, your mom will come around. She's just having a hard time dealing with it, right? Everything happening all at once, she's... She's your mother, and she loves you. Trust me, as one of my kids, all hell be breaking loose. Hell, my nerves would probably be so damn shot I'd have to smoke a whole damn bag of pot just to live. <laughs> but I ain't gonna stop loving my child just cause they're considered different. Hey, if you guys think you know this next song, why don't you get out on the dance floor and show me what you got. For this, why don't you? Do you not realize what people are gonna say about you? What people are gonna say about me? Look, you need to stop. No, I don't need to do a damn thing. But Can everybody hear me? I've got something I need to say. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the sun. A time to be born, a time to heal, a time to weep. Time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to keep quiet, and a time to speak up. And a time to love, and a time of peace. Jesus Christ. Mom, stop. Will you talk to me? What? I don't know what you want me to say. You want me to tell you I'm straight? That Kelly's my girlfriend? You want me to continue lying to you? Because that's what I've been doing, is lying to you, and I don't want to. Not to you. You're my mother. I shouldn't have to lie to you about who I really am. For how long, Ryan? Since I was about eight or nine. I just wanted eight or nine know what gay is. I didn't, but I knew something was different about me. I could, I could just feel it. Why can't you just feel normal? Just fit in with everyone else. I'm just being me. This doesn't have to change anything between us. Say something. I can't. I'm sorry. I, I just can't, Ryan. We can no. work. No! I can't accept this. I do not accept you just being like this. I can't. Mom. Mama. This is wrong. I know it, and you know it, too. The sooner you realize that, the better you will be. 
God hath made everything beautiful, very beautiful. I love you. I don't. I can't. He has set the world in our hearts. Every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of his labor. It is the gift of God. As the one dieth, so dieth the other. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. We all go unto one place. We are all born from dust, and to dust we will return. There is nothing better than that we love each other for who we are and what we are and do it now, right now. Oh my God, Sissy, he ain't breathing. What, what are you talking about? Call 911. Uh, what? Sissy, just go call 911. Oh, I'm not the boy I used to be, or maybe he was never who I am. I don't know that you can see or ever really understand. I guess the extent of knowing me is just how much I let you in. But I never thought that you could see or you'd even try to understand. Is it too late? How did I get here? How did I get here? I didn't know just how far I had wandered off. How did I get here? How did I get here? This doesn't feel like I don't know where I belong anymore. For none of us know when we will take our last breath. You know those days when you walk blind and you get so ambushed from the side. Catch my breath. Well, I'm sorry, I guess it's goodbye. So, is this too late? I'm afraid. How did I get here? How did I get here? Didn't know just how far I had wondered.